Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Map Zach. We're back at it, coming to the Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today, I will be doing a durability test of the Kosatka. This is the submarine from the update yesterday. Um, I did max it out, so we will be testing the strength of it, what features it all has, and testing the durabilities and the features of the vehicles that comes with or that you can purchase it with. So, first and foremost, the uh, first uh, durability test we're going to be doing is sticky bombs. Let's see how sticky, let me see how many sticky bombs it can, it can take. So, let me get down to this little dock right here. And as you guys may know, you can only Oh wow, so it can only take five sticky bombs. All right, that was interesting and now the game is lagging. <laughs> All right, I'll get you guys when I get my submarine back. All right guys, I got the submarine back. Now we just gotta do another dur <coughs> durability test with the RPG. How many rockets can I take? So I'm just going to assume we can only take four of everything. Uh, we're not going to assume that yet. We are going to request it again and grab the oppressor and try it with that. Alright, we got the oppressor here. Time to do it. Two, three, four, five, six. Test. All right, so for the next durability test, we got the uh, Torator. It is the brand new submarine, submarine car. Some would call it the um, Stromberg Mark II. Let's see how many torpedoes it can take. One. Two. Ay, ay, ay. This thing is a little hard to control. Bear with me. Three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten. Eleven. It can take eleven torpedoes. That is, I believe, it for this, uh, for the durability test. Now we are going to test out all of its features. See you guys in the sub. Alright, we are inside the submarine here. We got the periscope. So with this, you can actually lock onto people and shoot missiles. So that's extremely cool. Um, you can do air lock-ons. You can do water lock-ons. Like if somebody's trying to attack you on an oppressor, you can attack them. Uh, other submarines, boats near you, stuff like that. Uh, I believe that you can also fire at like the to the torators. Under, like if they're underwater or close to the surface um, but yep so you got the lock on let's just walk over here over here you've got the guided missiles you have two at a time uh, each missile takes about a minute to recharge and reload so you can just right here 
seriously, it goes up, and then you can control them moving the right analog stick and also the left analog stick. You press triangle to uh, exit it. Bear with me. Uh, it's super cool. Uh, I've personally used this a couple times. Uh, blown, up, blown up a couple of pressures out of, uh, out of the air. It's super easy to use. Um, but yeah. So there's that. Just real quick. Uh, so yeah, it takes about a minute to recharge, and then you right here you have the heist planning you know, board there is more screen. Being the captain of a submarine. Then clandestine ops and the close heist quarter options. Fight. We could try to sex with the blue whale. It's real bumpy in here, but man, then, see the before water. we get to the uh might as well do it right now. Uh you can sit down here and control your submarine. So you have the option of course to fast travel so to all of these time. different places. Or you could personally drive it, which then you could just drive it to the place for free. If you see right here, there's right here. There we go. Uh, if you hold, like, if you hold your left analog stick to the left or right, while also okay. So if you want to turn left, you hold it over all the way to the left, and also tap uh, L1 or hold L1. You take a sharper turn, and it's the same for the other way. You hold it, hold it all the way right, and uh, hold R1, and it goes, uh, takes a really sharp right turn. You can hold X to descend, and then whilst underwater, you are uh, off the radar unless uh, enemies have sonar active or are near. Uh, while you having so sonar on, you can also do hidden caches. Uh, these give you $7,500 each time you grab them. There are, I believe, 10. Yes, there are 10. I've already done 10 of them though, so there might be, like, like I don't know exactly how many there is, but there is 10 right now that I can grab right now um, I previously did 10 yesterday but I didn't record that so um, you can do that and then if you hold right on your d-pad you can toggle uh, autopilot it'll keep you at this depth and not move you so basically you will be completely submerged you can leave the helm and like uh, say say you want to go uh, to your like underwater or something and you just don't want to be seen on the map while doing it you can just do that come over here and of course you also do have to uh, purchase these areas through the dock tees or the war stock yes it is war stock uh, you have to purchase the helicopter and the submarine via war stock these are how these work this is extremely cool. If you ask me, this is, this is really cool. But yep. You can also do sonar on here and also still get the caches. Uh, this works. This works the same as the Kraken. It is, I would say it is the Kraken Mark II, because, you know, the back of it even says Kraken sub Submersible. Uh, while under the, the Kosaka, you can also enter it via submarine. You can also have the Torator back here, 
or I'm pretty sure you can have the Stromberg also back here. So that's cool. And then you come back up here. Here's the Sparrow. It puts you in first person because it doesn't give you enough, uh, it doesn't give you enough height to actually see a person get in it. You can modify it. Weapons, you can have no weapon. 50 cal minigun or homing missiles is what I have on it. And you can also respray your vehicle or your aircraft. And then if you exit, all oh right, you cannot exit while submerged. Right, all right. So let's. I'll catch you guys when I'm emerged from the ocean. All right, we are surfaced and pulling out the sparrow. This is the sparrow right here. Super quick, honestly. Uh, I would say one of the fastest helicopters I've ever freaking flown. I've flown almost all the helicopters in the game. But uh, yeah, this is the sparrow. Of course, you got the homing missiles. You got non homing. So let's do a durability test of this real quick. It only takes one missile. Alright, so let's do a durability test of the uh, the Avisa, which is the submarine inside the submarine. <laughs> Alright, see it from here. Shoot that. Only takes one. So, I would say they're not that powerful. Um, uh, yeah, they're not that... Um, they can't take much, for sure. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, if you guys did, if you guys did like it and enjoyed watching me blow up my submarine multiple times, uh, if you thought if you thought it was helpful at least and informational, please make sure to leave a like, su subscribe to see more uh, durability test videos. I will be doing more and more often, I would say. Um, but yeah, so leave a like, comment down below what was, if you enjoyed it, if, if you thought it was uh, informational, or if you thought it was just cool. But make sure to make sure to subscribe and turn on all post notifications so you can see more durability videos and informational field videos on Grand Theft Auto Online. And yeah. Keep it real for me until the next video. And I will see y'all in the next. Peace.